even not just the funerals, even weddings, even weddings. The same thing applies, please, when you have got a wedding, it is very, very important that you contain a wedding to a very small number, the 15 that we have been talking about, so that you are able to, 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 to keep your, your social distancing. And again, I, I appreciate completely, I appreciate that as Africans, we like to attend weddings. In fact, there are people who go around on Saturdays just looking for a wedding to attend. You know, you don't have to know the people. But there is a new normal. Now we, we need to know, we, we, we have to contain it and be just a few, just a few people who are attending the, the, the wedding. Apana siyo mchezo, sayatu unajua yu ni kweli. Kuna watu wanatembea Saturday. Wanatafuta ni wapi yu arusi iku. Shemtai, on the guidelines, yesterday I spoke about this issue regarding the cut or circumcision, so to speak. And we have said that uh, circumcision can only happen along very strict guidelines discussed and executed with the officers of the Ministry of Health. So those who might go carrying out circumcision with all sorts of gadgets and killing our children will be held completely and totally responsible. We have, because we have already said that this is not something that you should go doing. This spread is, this, this, this virus is very, very easy to spread. Can you imagine if you had a circumciser who is positive himself and goes cutting away a hundred kids? Can you imagine the impact of something like that? So I think for those who are sane, because I am, there are guys who are just insane, for those who are sane, Please stop your children from being taken to, some, to somebody who just goes under the, under the name of guys as a circumciser who has not been tested, who we don't know, who doesn't know the, the status of, we don't know under what, under, under what kind of uh, health circumstances they are operating. So it's important. It's important. We appreciate. This is a very important ceremony. We know that. Some of us have gone through it. But it is not to say that we go killing people in order for us to maintain some sense of, um, some sort of ceremonial importance. It's good, it's important, but it is not enough reason to die for. 30 deaths, Chemtai, yes, you are right. There are 30 people who have, who have died. This is a matter, of, co of course, of serious concern. And, I, and you have seen there are younger people, which informs why we have been talking about the whole issue of uh, gathering, the whole issue of socializing. And that's why we have said the fact that we have stopped alcohol being taken in bars is, not, is, is to stop you from socializing. It is not to shift the socializing into turning your house into a karumaindo or to a shabin that uh, people go and drink alcohol in. If you turn your house into a karumaindo and you bring people there, then what's the difference between us? No, it's very serious. It's very serious. There are those people, we are aware that uh, there are people who have started thinking that the way to shift the system is to turn your house into a shabin. But can you also shift the virus? You know, are you capable of also, you have escaped from the police. How do you escape, how do you escape from the virus? Eh? Wewe unaona wewe ni mwerevu sana. Ni mwerevu sana kwa sababu bai imefungwa. Muingie pali pengine. Muanze kuunywa huko. Lakini sasa hata ukimkibia kwa ba. Sasa hata ni virusi una, una invite kwa kwa nyumbani. You are inviting the, the virus in your house. Under the guise of happiness and merry making. Bonnie, I cannot tell you right now. Standing here where I am how much money we have spent so far. But uh, if you put your question to the ministry, we have no problem at all detailing how much we have spent. But if you ask me right now, I don't know. I don't have the figure in my head. Um, the recovery numbers, Brian, 
it, it is indeed what you said. There is a, there is a drop in, um, in the recoveries, but I'll explain this. Uh, first, when we started the, um, the protocol of home care, we had a huge surge of people when we were following the WTO, the WHO protocols of releasing people after 14 days, even if they were positive, because at that time, they were able to go home without necessarily infecting others. So we had a huge number of those people who were in hospitals at that time. So that explained why there was a, a surge upwards of people we were sending home. And of course, that has now sort of stabilized. Now, that's one. The second one has to do with perhaps, and I'm going to ask to, uh, Dr. Amoth in uh, answering the other questions to also speak to this. Perhaps it has also got something to do with the weather because we are also in the second phase of uh, the flu, uh, the second phase of our flu months, and uh, that perhaps might also influence how quickly uh, people are recovering as opposed to uh, in the warm weathers. But I am not an expert in that one. So I'm going to yield the question to uh, somebody a lot more wiser in, that circum in those circumstances. Uh, and I'm also going to ask Amos to respond to the issue of immunization. Um, the issue of community health workers, yes, we are continuing with the training, and I think that we can also expand a little bit more. Um, immunization, community training, and the recoveries, Dr. Amoth, we will speak to.